This week in gaming, we hop into the latest Battle Royale game. Paxton shines a spotlight on a new tech fashion. Minecraft is helping the real world ocean. Ooh, cool, we throw some quickies at you. And then you get to see me and Montgomery trying to defuse a bomb in VR. All this and more starting right now. It seems like the gaming genre that has taken the world by storm is not letting up anytime soon. But this new contender has been around the block before. The Culling was one of the first games to try out Battle Royale, and they're back with a sequel. And it's as lame as you think. It sucks. Yeah. But let's break it down anyway. It's your typical battle royale game. You play solo, duo, or squad, but there's only 50 players on the 20 square kilometer map. PUBG is around 36 square kilometers, just saying. And there is no drivable vehicles in this one, but they do have gas cans that you're able to use as explosives, so. That's pretty cool. The Culling 2 does have a wide variety of firearms, attachments, melee weapons, and even a shield. But the graphics and mechanics just seem kind of gimmicky. Sorry, not sorry. Mm -mm. And while it's easy to poke fun at a small developer's graphics for not being as smooth as the top dogs like PUBG and Fortnite, we can argue about the loot boxes and dance moves. Yeah, look at these dance moves. They're ridiculous, but they're smooth and they've been worked on. Mm -hmm. It's as if they put more effort into the microtransactions than they did in the actual game. Come on, guys. The Calling 2 is definitely trying to jump on the Battle Royale bandwagon. We don't recommend spending $20 on this game. You've been warned. Mm-hmm. Drum roll, please. Introducing the Nils Cable, the first wearable phone cable that actually looks good. And don't worry, you don't have to sacrifice quality either. You can wear the charging cable on your wrist so you never have to worry about stealing your coworker's charger again. It's easy to take off and plug in, making it effortless to charge your phone anywhere, anytime. The Nils is not only aesthetically pleasing with its matte finish and streamlined design, but also uses an N52 rare earth magnet to hold the bracelet together. So this bad boy ain't going anywhere. It is available in Lightning, Type-C, and Micro USB, and it comes in three different sizes. Oh, and did I mention it's water resistant? The Nils has already been fully funded on Kickstarter with still over a month to go in the campaign. Pricing starts at $30 for a solo and $40 for a duo. Minecraft is saving the ocean one achievement at a time. With the release of the Minecraft Aquatic Update, both phases now available on PC and console, Minecraft is working with a few partners to save our oceans with coral crafters. Like the real oceans, where you, where you swim, like real oceans. Coral Crafters is a team that is working with fans to create unique structures to help restore coral reefs. In the update aquatic, Minecraft's oceans are filled to the brim with beautiful coral, fish, shipwrecks, and so much more. But our real oceans aren't as fortunate. With changing climates and an overload of pollution, coral reefs are under massive threat. These colorful places are home to around 2 million species, and if these trends continue, 60% of the world's coral reefs will be lost within two decades. That's not okay. So, how did your normal Minecraft player help? Well, earlier this month, there were a few different ways gamers helped contribute to the rebuild of coral reefs. Many voted for the structures that were placed underwater, bought the aquatic skin pack that had proceeds going to the Nature Conservatory, and with the coral placing challenge in the Minecraft game, it helped raise a huge donation of $100,000, which was donated to the Nature Conservatory. And that goes to show that playing video games can save the world. Montgomery, stop talking about Minecraft. It's time for the quickies. Monster Hunter World announced a PC release date for next month, August 9th. Speaking of Monster Hunter, they announced a new 3D animated show is in the works called Legends of the Guild. Ooh. Overwatch players raised $12.4 million for breast cancer research with the selling of this pink outfit for Mercy. Mm -hmm. Xbox revealed a new wireless controller with inspiration from athletics and sports lifestyle. Mm, football. Mm. I mean soccer. Yeah. Mm. Hearthstone announced that their next expansion called Boomstay Project will launch August 7th. Far Cry 5 announced their next DLC, Lost on Mars, will be out July 17th. 
Bard's Tale 4 now has a release date, September 18th. RuneScape is now playable on mobile. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. You've ever played it? No. Yeah, it's, it's pretty old. Uh, Hogwarts Mystery has a new update that allows you to duel other players. You excited? No. Along with the launch of their fifth season, Fortnite announced Summer Skirmish. It'll be eight weeks of competitive rounds with eight million dollars in total winning. Eight million dollars? Wow! Well, oh. And that wraps up the news from this week. But before we go, here's a sneak peek of us playing Keep Talking and Nobody Explodes. Hello! <laughs> This is the, what, thanks for calling 1-800-BOMB diffusal. Uh, how can I This help is you? not a telemarketer. Like, there's this <laughs> not a bomb diffusal that you can call. There's okay. a hold button. Hold button. There, okay, okay, there's a big, big red button. No, it's a big, big blue button. Big blue button. All right, all right, cool, cool, cool. Uh, the button. I have uh, a minute left! Oh, God! There's a white strip by it. There's a white strip. Okay, release when the countdown timer has one in any position. Huh? So hold it down and then release when you see one on the timer. Oh, I died. Oh. I died. Push the boobies first. Okay. The CO. Okay. The married Ks. Okay. And the uh, weird three. Got it. Okay. Cut the last wire. And I blew up. <laughs> <laughs> so and I'm just kind of like, you die, you die. <laughs> what? Hello, I am Bam. I have a bomb in front of me, and I need help. I have three minutes. Just hold the button. Hold the button. What color strip? Oh, 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 I pushed it like go. It turned green on accident. I did on accident. Wait, so it's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Okay. <laughs> second one. Second. No, it says nothing. Literal. Uh, like the word. Nothing. <laughs> Literally. Ow, I didn't kick that. Three seconds! Yellow flashing. Ah! Gosh darn it! <laughs> We're so close! <laughs> if you want to see the full gameplay of us defusing bombs, come back here Monday, because that's when we'll be posting it. And don't miss out on new episodes of Craft Brew Review Wednesdays at 3 p.m. Central, only on Raid Red's YouTube channel. I'm Gordon Brown. And I'm Paxton Elrod. Mm.